Every once in a while, a new technology, an old problem, and a big idea turn into an innovation. Giant cell arteritis is a common vasculitis which can lead to irreversible blindness. Patients present with a mixture of symptoms which may include headache, jaw claudication, malaise, and visual disturbance. Urgent assessment and diagnostics are key to better treatment and outcomes in this condition. The initiation of steroids promptly reduces the risk of blindness, but if used inappropriately, have adverse side effects. Tocilizumab is now licensed to treat patients with refractory or flaring patients with GCA. To be able to give this treatment, patients have to have evidence of diagnostics confirming disease. The gold standard test for GCA is temporal artery biopsy. This involves a surgical procedure and histopathology, taking time to get the result. More recently, temporal artery ultrasound has been validated as a diagnostic tool, with the artery demonstrating a halo. At UCLH, we have started using PET-CT in addition to the temporal artery ultrasound and biopsy. In case of GCA, PET-CT shows an increased tracer uptake in the large vessels, such as aorta and subclavian arteries, which is suggestive of active inflammation of the vessel wall. When tocilizumab was added to the treatment list, we decided to audit how we diagnose and manage patients at UCLH. We realized there was no pathway in place and decided to see how we could access the relevant people to make a fast-track pathway. Our pathway utilizes temporal artery ultrasound and the patient is scanned within 48 hours of presentation. If the scan is negative or there are other clinical concerns, a PET CT is requested and performed within 72 hours. Patients with suspected GCA are referred to us from their GP or from our emergency department and assessed by a rheumatology registrar within 24 hours. If GCA is considered relevant, Blood tests are sent and diagnostics are requested and organized. Steroid treatment is commenced without delay. Results are then collated and the decision to continue or stop steroids is made by the clinician responsible. Since the start of the new GCA pathway in 2019, we have had 59 patients recorded. Of those, 35 have been diagnosed with GCA. We performed 31 PET CT scans with a striking 19 reported as positive for vasculitis. Of these 19 positive cases, 50% had negative or inconclusive biopsies and ultrasounds. PET CT is picking up cases of GCA that would have been missed with other diagnostics. Using PET CT, we have diagnosed several GCA mimics, including cancer as a case of metastatic adenocarcinoma shown here on the left and infection as a case of fungal infection of the skull base shown here on the right. The COVID pandemic made access to temporal artery biopsy almost impossible. Our pathway allowed patients to be fast-tracked to temporal artery ultrasound and PET-CT without need for biopsy. We are immensely proud of our pathway the first in the UK to utilize PET-CT as an early diagnostic tool, and now, in its third year, it is going from strength to strength.